Hey, it's Catherine with ResinObsession.com and today I'm going to show you how to use a flex shaft to sand down your resin pieces. I've had a few people ask if you can use something like a motorized tool to sand down your resin and the answer is a resounding yes with the caveat that you have to be very, very careful because these motorized tools can take down your resin very quickly. So there's three things that I usually follow or keep in mind when I'm using my flex shaft to sand down resin. Number one, I like to use these split tools. Um, as you can see, there's a, there's a split right in here. And what that allows me to do, what that allows me to do is to tear off a piece of wet dry sandpaper and then you feed the sandpaper in through the split and wrap it around. And what that is nice for is that you don't have to spend a lot of money getting a bunch of different um, polishing wheels or compounds. You just use one grit and then change it out and you can try another one. Second thing you have to know is that as tempting as it is, to just kind of go along the piece and do it like this, you really need to keep your flex shaft moving. And the reason is is because you don't want to get a bunch of half circles on the side of your piece when you're sanding it. And then of course the last thing is that you really don't have as much control over this as you think you do. So you'll want to use your thumb as a brace and sand that way. And what that does is it just helps keep um, your your grinding tool under control versus kind of trying to go along like this you really can't gauge the amount of pressure that you're using okay so we're using sandpaper on the split mandrel we're going to go back and forth and we're going to use our thumb as a brace so before we use our tool don't forget we have to have a little safety first you want to wear your goggles and you also want to put on something like a particle mask in addition to making sure you have some really great ventilation Okay, so there you can see that this edge looks a lot more um, worn down than this edge now. You can kind of see we really were able to take off a lot of resin in a hurry. Let me zoom in on that for you. Okay, so comparatively speaking, this is the, the edge that we um, sanded on. And you can kind of compare it to some of the, this other edge here. You can see how that's sticking up. So you can see that we really take a lot of resin off in a hurry. Now at this point, I, because I used a 400 grit sandpaper, you know, the edge still looks a little rough. So now you just want to go over it with some other grits to kind of soften it down. And then you can finish up with some wax or another layer of resin or something to kind of give it that nice finished shine. So if you have any questions, leave them in the box below. If you get a minute, stop by our Resin Obsession blog and jewelry making forum. We're happy to help you with your resin jewelry questions. Happy casting!